Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths a Sinking Ship video, and this is Sinking the German liner SS Bremen. Now this is one that uh, I've already done a tutorial for on Minecraft, I've just finished it just a couple of days ago, and now it's being converted to From the Depths for its destruction, so like most of my ships you've seen the construction, its birth basically, and now you're going to see its death. Um, so yeah, this is a, a straight convert from Minecraft, and it's one of the easier ones to be honest, because usually when I uh, convert a ship it... Um, well, it, did, it flops over or it sinks or the uh, the weight distribution's all off. But this one's actually quite well, uh, quite good because uh, you know, it's actually a, a wider ship than uh, a lot of the usual ones I do. So it's um, more uh, balanced, more buoyant, and uh, it's not too bad. It's full of weight, though. I mean, it's it's got uh, heavy armour ballast, as you'd expect, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So I um, don't need to use much uh, light alloy for this one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to sink it. As per usual, we're in the shallows there, we're in a bit, a bit of a shallower area this time, we can see, got, well, say islands, but more, uh, well, it was near sandbanks earlier on, but I don't know where they went, oh, they're over there, I could have launched a ship over there, but I'll, uh, I'll stay where we are, but uh, we've got the Emma Jane again, just over there, and a size comparison between the two, Emma Jane's tiny, SS Bremen is huge, that gives you a good idea, doesn't it, right, on to uh, the sinking process, <laughs> we're not far away today, only a few hundred yards. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the, the bow torpedoes just to uh, fire midships and see what the outcome will be. So I'll f just get into position roughly that way. I'm using the uh, bow thrusters just to get the ship lined up. And we're going to launch the torps. I can't remember what uh, number they are, so I'm just going to find out. Uh, what are they? They are... Number five, there we go. So we need number five to fire. And what we're gonna do. There we go, there's the first two tops. Where do they hit? Directly between the two funnels. And that has wounded the ship and now she's oh I'll say well she's gonna tip over, but uh, not happening. She's she's dipped slightly at the bow. So uh there's a bit of weight distribution going on there. So what damage was there? There, oh, just a poke in the side, basically a small, a small slither of oh, I'll say a small slither of injury. It's a small, <laughs> small stab wound, basically. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's confined to one compartment. So what we're going to do. We're going to move slightly to the fore, or slightly forward. I'm just trying to think where the weight distribution is. Where's the heaviest part? I know there's there is a couple of compartments where the the heavy armour is doubled up. So let's pop in here. And it's not that one. Oh, it is these compartments. It's this compartment. Yeah, so it's this compartment and that compartment where the, the heavy armour is doubled up. So, so yeah, we've, we have punched in one of those compartments. So I'm just going to turn the ship slightly forward of that point. So I'm going to turn Emma slightly to the right. And fire again. And still she holds up. Quite a resilient ship, actually. So that is... Oh, I know why, though. It's because I hit the same bloody compartment. Brilliant. And right, <laughs> right on the edge there. Damn it. Oh, well. So what we do... We get back to Emma. And turn her slightly to the right again. <laughs> Can't help but think this is going to be a slightly longer video than normal. And there's someone using a chainsaw outside, which is really annoying. Try again. There we are, two more compartments, well, one more compartment at least. And yep, she's dipped at the head. And yep, she's still stable though, which is brilliant. She's not going to tip over. <laughs> I will admit this time the funnels are attached as well, so they're not going to fall off. Um, so I've got enough knife wounds in the side. And, uh, yeah. One two, three, four. There's four more compartments forward. So, we just take that, t uh, try and take them off one by one and see what we end up with. So, I'm going to go back to Emma Jane, wherever she is there. I'm going to turn all the way to aim at the forepeak of the, of the Bremen. The Bremen, the Bremen. 
And I excuse my voice, it's hay fever season, so I'm sneezing like buggery. Right, so we aim at about there. I'm going to fire two more torps. We're aiming at the four peak now, just to try and bring the bow down. There we are, right in the bow there. Oh, lag. That's never good. Oh, come on. Game's gone into siege mode. Oh, there we go. There we go, the barrel goes down. And what was the damage? I know there's two holes. Yep, just two holes there. We have actually opened up the deck as well, so... The deck is now flooded. But the one above it isn't, that's fine. God, <laughs> bloke with the chainsaw is really annoying me now. Uh, so what do we do? We go back to Emma Jane and we turn the ship slightly to the left. To aim at the next compartment. I don't think we'll have much trouble there. Lag again. <laughs> and down she goes a bit more. God, that was quite a drop. The water's right up to the forecastle now. So she's still stable though. She's not going to tip over. I'll hand that to her. But it's going to get to the point now. We're going to have to start using uh, sea rams. Because the torpedoes will not hit this area. The, the, the torpedoes are too high up. Or I could try and drop them down a bit. If I can get them to uh, drop in depth. How do we do that? How do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, ballast, float depth, Ooh, seven nineteen, and the other one, float depth, about fourteen. Yeah, hang on. So yeah, we're just adjusting the depth of the uh, torpedoes. And then we'll turn a bit more to the right or left, sorry, and fire again. See what damage we can do this time. The torpedo should be at different depths. And yet they are. Bullseye. Right on the side there. And now the barrel goes down even more. It's just a shame this game won't allow you to build huge torpedoes. Because I think one torpedo uh, of realistic proportions will do a hell of a lot more damage than just poking a hole in the side like that. And now the, ho the whole forecastle is now under. And the propellers are now exposed. And uh, things aren't looking too rosy. So what's the damage? Let's go back and check the compartment area. So that's flooded, flooded, flooded. So the first three are flooded. Compartment number four is dry. And that's it really. Because compartment five and six and probably seven as well are flooded. So we've just got to turn the ship a little bit more to the left. And that should start the ball rolling. So we'll just turn slightly to the left. And fire again. Now it's a blast. And yep, down she goes a bit more. And just watching the stern from here. That's horrendous, isn't it? So just fly over again. And she's not dropped a huge amount. I mean, well, she has dropped enough. But uh, yeah, the water is still below the boat deck but the propellers are now out of the water well two of them are and the rudder is on the verge of rising out of the water we've actually got a proper rudder this time it's actually attached by rivets uh, hinges rather than uh, star say, so I say hinges it's still blocks but uh, at least you can just distinguish the rudder from the rest of the hull and unlike the USS uh, no, no, the SS United States rather the rudder hasn't fallen off um, so yeah, that is the bow down. Let me just turn a bit more to the left again. Fire again. Let's see if that does anything. Another blast in the bow. Huge lag spike. And what happens? 
I don't think anything's happening. I don't think she's going down at all. Oh well. Okay, slightly more to the left again. And a wood fire, but she's reloading. Come on. Oh, there we go. See what happens now. Blast. And still not much happening. So I think I'm just aiming and firing at uh, already open compartments. Yeah, you can see the bow hasn't moved at all. So what am I hitting? Basically just a side. And so I'm opening up the decks. It's this deck that you want open really, isn't it? This one. This one has started down a bit more. This one's open, as well as this one. But the one in the middle is the uh, one that needs to be shot at. So we go back over again and then turn the ship slightly more to the right. And fire again. Hit. Lag spike. Huge lag spike. And yep, I think she is tipping forward slightly. Ah, oh, yep, the stern is rising. Yep, the bridge is completely under now. Just fly over there. Oop. Yep, the bridge is under. And she's still tipping down. The bow platform is just going under now. By the funnel. I know there's no smoke uh, generators on the top either. I forgot to put them on. But uh, never mind. So the bridge is now under. The boat deck is flooded. The propellers are now clean out of the water. Madness. So what's the next job? Uh... Well, I suppose you just turn the uh, ship towards the stern and just pick each compartment off one by one. That's really all we need to do. So if we turn a bit more that way and then boof. Blast in the side. Another lag spike. But not much happening. Huh. I think she's starting to roll over actually. Uh, oh no, she's stable, she's fine. So, really, all we're doing at the moment is just firing in areas which don't need to be fired at. Right, well, let's turn the ship a bit more to the right and then fire again. Let's see what the torps do this time. Direct hit in the side there. And uh, yeah, that's a bit of a, a dip there. And yep, she's going down. Loud motorbike going by. Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? You can see she's still going down as well. If I just sit here, well, she was going down. Yeah, she's still moving. Yeah, you just see the rudder moving up very gradually. She compared to the horizon, a bit of a a dip there. And goes back down again. So I think she's just rolling with the water now. But the forward funnel is now more or less completely under. It's just sort of bobbing on the water surface now. So there ain't much left of the ship now, to be honest, uh, to sink. It says using thousands of torpedoes. Just use a couple. Fire a couple more. Another hit. Another lag spike. Well, when the ship takes a massive lurch down. Uh, 
And now she's going to tip up. So what's the damage? It's just small holes. That's all it is. It's doing all the damage. All the decks are now flooded, that's for certain. Yeah, all the way up to the top. And the ship is still going down. The second funnel is now going under. The first funnel's already gone under a long time ago. But she is definitely overwhelmed by the weight of the water now. I don't think there's any light alloy. If there is light alloy, it's just the, the white. I think. Yeah, it's only the white that's light alloy. Everything else is either wood, metal, or heavy armour. So there's plenty of weight involved. So it's probably the heaviest ship I've got now. Um, the Queen Mary is mainly light alloy. Not apart from the Titanic and Britannic, but they're not really in pro the same proportions, really. But yeah, the ship is going under. Won't take long, really. And a couple more tops. Massive lag spike, don't know what's going on. This game crap. Well, this game is crap. Come on, for God's sake. There we go, right. <sighs> right, just turn a bit more to the left. The bloke with the chainsaw outside is starting to get on my tits. Noise constantly. Okay. See that those tops do. Yeah, blown the side open, the stern drops. Stern drops quite a lot. And <laughs> I think she's just gonna level out now and just sink flat. And just sink at a shallow angle. How far away is she from the seabed? Because it's, it's fairly shallow this water, but it's not shallow enough, obviously. But, uh... Oh, never mind. She's going down now, anyway. So what's the compartments left? We've got one... I think that's all the compartments flooded now. So yeah, just one compartment left. That's in the stern. That's really that's all holding her up. So if I just turn EJ to the left and then fire and the last two torps will bring her down in theory. There we go. Blast there and now the stern comes down. So it's not the most elegant of sinkings, it's just sort of uh, fire and then she's not destroyed at least that's one thing she's not completely obliterated like um well virtually all the other ships we have to torpedo her about a thousand times just to get her to list over slightly but it's at least she's in one piece and going under gradually she's still holding a back end up though i don't know what's going on here but everything is now flooded so yeah, she's gradually gliding away now. Yeah, that's it. So the mast is just on the surface. Going under, and now the stern goes under. And that is pretty much it. Under she goes. So I didn't need the sea rams after all. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the Bremen gone now. She's so gonna take a little while before she gets to the seabed because of her, uh, well, the size of her. You know, you'd think a ship of that size, as soon as it leaves the surface, would just drop like a stone, but not to be. If I just look at her at this angle, she is. You can see she's gradually moving down, but uh, she's gonna take a while before she gets to the seabed. That not happen there. Uh, so yeah, that is the yes, SS Bremen, completely intact, which is uh godsend really. It's really on the other side where all the holes are. But uh, 
she's not in bad condition. I could just fire all the torpedoes now and see what happens, but uh, it would be cruel. But I may come back and do another video of this one. I may um, add the uh, longitude compartments to see if the ship would tip over, or do a ramming or something like that. I mean, this ship is this ship is more or less all metal, so she's not going to crumple like a, a ship with light alloy on board. So if I could use this ship to ram another ship, then uh, it'd be quite interesting. So that'd be for another day anyway. We've got uh, Emma Jane's over there. So that's it for the uh, SS Bremen, and uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna go. I'm, uh, I'm, pardon me. I'm gonna be disappearing for a couple of weeks, so you won't see me for a little while. But uh, so uh, sure enough, I'll be coming back with something else, and uh, we shall go from there. But uh, anyway, this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall be back with another video. So uh, bye for now.